Hey guys, it's Dave of My Freedom Smokes here to talk to you about a brand new tank we just got in from the Council of Vapor, and that is the Defiant tank. It's a brand new top fill atomizer they just released. It's going to be very similar to the uh, tank that you saw with the Mini Volt, just slightly larger. The Mini Volt tank was 18 millimeters, and this is a full 22, so it's going to fit most of your mods. Instead of the, like on the Vengeance tank they had there, this one is top fill. It uses a similar coil. I'll go over the coil in just a moment. But the way you get this thing filled is you just untwist your drip tip there and you fill right in the top just like the one that comes with the mini volt kit. It has a nice honeycomb in the bottom of the drip tip for spit back. And it's also kind of in there, the angle kind of gives you a little swirl, helps with the vapor production sounds. Another neat thing about this Defiant tank is the two coils that come with it are 0.5, so the sub ohm coils and they have a ceramic wick instead of a cotton wick, similar to like the Vapresso Target we covered recently, and some of the other ceramic coils are out there on the market, so you get a much uh, pure, more pure uh, flavor on there, and um, they do last a lot longer than a standard cotton wick coil will last. And if you'll notice, compared to the Vengeance uh, coil, these have the red rings on there, uh, just to kind of show you that it's a different coil, this is a ceramic wick coil. Um, there's a vertical coil inside, wrapped around that ceramic, all the ceramics around the vertical coil. And then they got a little sheet of uh, cotton, like almost like a cotton paper around the outside to kind of help with the wicking and pulling the moisture to the, the ceramic and the coil itself. Those are 0 0.5. They do have some interesting information on that in the book. It says, while the coil can handle up to 75 watts. Recommended watt is about 40 to 60 for optimal performance. I'm running mine at 50 and it's been doing great for me. Great flavor, it's put on great vapor production. Um, really taste the liquid, I'm not tasting any of the cotton or anything. Like you would with a no normal coil, you know you have a little bit of a setup period. You gotta wait for everything to kick in and the juice to get fully saturated before you taste it. This is almost immediately after I put the first bit of liquid in there, I was tasting just pure liquid. This is great. I really enjoy my liquid I have in there, and I'm not having to worry about tasting anything else other than the liquid itself. I haven't had a full lengthy uh, test on this yet, but with the ceramic coils, we've been seeing they last a lot longer. Like I said, most cotton coils last about two weeks, whereas people are saying these can last about double that. So you're going to get a longer life out of your coil. Um, the Defiant will take the regular Vengeance coil, so if you want to use the 0.2 Vengeance coils or the 0.8 Vengeance coils, depending on uh, your particular likes, you will be able to use those coils. You do get uh, your extra glass with this. You know, accidents do happen, so they won't have prepared you to have extra glass if you need a replacement. You got extra O-rings. You got the uh, little uh, drip tip O-ring like they have on the Vengeance. Kind of helps keep it cool off in your mouth. I don't really want to pull that off because it's a little difficult to get back in there, but they give you a replacement on that. Just kind of inset down our little o-ring and uh, like I said just makes it a little cooler on the touch when uh, you're actually vaping on so the tip doesn't get too hot for you. Alright so we've been doing a lot with the uh, Council of Vapor and some of their products lately. We've been real impressed with everything we've gotten from them from their RS Pro um, Atomizer a while back to the Kindred to the Vengeance, now the Defiant, the Mini Volt. It's all been great products and we've been really impressed with how the, uh, the the, just the way everything's put together, everything threads in perfectly. It's just a great uh, piece of work on all their devices and tanks and everything. This is definitely another one you may want to add to your collection. If you like the Vengeance, um, I'm sure you'll love the Defiant because it does have the top fill option add on there, which is a nice convenience factor. Instead of having to remove your tank every time you want to add liquid, simply unscrew the top and fill it up. Uh, it does seem to hold a little more liquid in the Vengeance. I haven't taken the time to measure the difference in there. I'd say this one probably holds about four milliliters. I may be wrong, but it does seem to hold a lot more uh, liquid than the Vengeance itself does. All right, so if you have any questions about the Defiant Atomizer by Council of Vapor, you can leave them in the comments below. This has been David of My Freedom Smokes, and thank you for vaping.